Percy from Adeline Country Cottage. I am back and I have been missing in action for a while. So this is a more recent video um, compared to the other ones because I've got all these videos all banked up. Now these uh, lovely journals are all custom made for the lovely Liz, Vicky and Julie. Um, I had come down with the, the flu so I had to hold back on making these because I didn't want to contaminate them um, with my disgustingness of this flu. So I have now back and my studio is back in order and so if you want a, um, a room tour of that leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get that done. So without further ado let's just jump straight into it. And we will go through. Now this one is for Liz. Um, Liz uh, wanted something with touches of pink. I mean this journal was actually designed to be all uh, lattes and browns inspired colours. But with some um, touches of pinks are now being added um, for Liz. And so we have got a beautiful front cover. We have the washi tape down the side. I've actually called this one Atmosphere. So we go inside and we have a beautiful tag that I've created out of vintage wallpaper. Uh, did some embossing, added some bling and then of course it has some dyed muslin. Um, we have the Porter paint swatches, gorgeous, gorgeous. And we have the images from the magazine. We have a little tuck spot here. We have some designer paper, little tab. Um, we have some beautiful ballet shoes image and of course there's another one underneath here of some lace. We have some pink lace down the side with a little bit of sheer fabric of uh, rosebuds and the typewriter manual page and another little beautiful tag where I've just added some stamping, um, some lace and I've actually eco dyed the fabric and the lace and muslin. We've got some beautiful stitching and a lovely image of Hyder Angels, one of my faves. We have a image here of a postcard. Um, I have quite a few postcards so if you're really interested in viewing or sorry um, having a digi kit made of my postcards I'm happy to put those in so, uh, like a color palette so that way um, you can uh, download them and use them for yourself so I've just turned this one into a little pocket I've added a, um, a map of the world in there and so that just pops in and we have um, botanical rose here it's got some ephemera and also um, I have a huge amount of um, music books uh, vintage ones so I'm I'm thinking about doing um, a huge digi kit or a few digi kits with um, some of those because they are just absolutely stunning and if you'd like to see them first um, leave a comment down below and let me know and I'm more than happy to go through um, and show you all the front covers of these these are just absolutely stunning I've been collecting them for years um, so we've got a little pocket here and a little tag um, some images here of books uh, another image we have the 1920s ledger paper little pocket and little fabric swatch with the swatch with washi tape um, we've got the type of text um, vintage book page and we have the middle of the page with a lovely image and a half pocket um, over the other side we've got some ephemera beautiful image a little book with some washi now I've used the washi on the on the actual ledger patient paper because it's really brittle so it does fall apart I mean the scripted writing on there is just beautiful another image a music paper the other side of the pocket again with some hide arrangers a little flip out little tag hit tab here a couple of little images and we have the tea bag tab on the side now with this particular flip out I actually designed the fabric um, I've 
dyed the fabric, done some printing, stamping on it, and then of course I've just sewn on little pieces of, um, of fabric, and then I've just layered some lace on the top. We have a French laundry powder um, tab, uh, tag and some ephemera. Another image of some peony roses. And this is the back. Beautiful vintage fabric with some a layering tag and of course my logo. So that's one is for Liz. I hope you enjoy that Liz and that should be coming your way soon. And we'll move into Vicky's. Um, this one I eco dyed with some leaves to give it that sort of uh, old uh, grey sort of um, feel to it. Um, beautiful image here of a bodice um, stitching, washi tape. And this one we start off with a tag, some vintage um, buttons that I've made, beautiful image of a bodice. Um, we have a little pocket here, an image, some gathering of some um, tidbits. I just added a bit of a collage of some lace that I dyed as well as the muslin. And we have the type typewriter manual, another tag that I've created with some dyed fabric, stamping, lace. And of course the postcard, I've worked out how to do both sides and I've, uh, I've actually printed some of the, that particular leaf on the back. So I just thought that was really pretty. So that one's for there. Um, we got some extra pages to, to write on. Uh, French label, we've got some bling, another little tag here and some layering. Um, we have some music paper, image, some uh, muslin. Now this particular page is my ultimate fave. These are my the perfect colour pa palette in my eyes. Um, I just absolutely love it. I love the rust. I love the blue wall. I love the scripted writing on the cushion, um, the timber floor, and I just thought this was the perfect color palette for that particular image. That whole layout, I'm just loving. Love, love, love. We have a pocket here, the ledger paper, some more gathering here. Center of the page, a little key, ephemera, beautiful image, another little book, some washi, beautiful image of a white world, and another image, music paper, the other side of that pocket, a flip out, and another little tag here, tab here, beautiful image of an interior, a little tea bag tab again with the the tip in that I made and some gathering some rusty clips and ephemera and another little tuck in here of an image and this here I have actually um, tried to dye this fabric to match the bodice um, I th think it's come up really gorgeous. It's very French inspired. Um, la lots of layering of, um, of lace with a little tag and of course my logo. But that is just beautiful. As you can see, this is the reason why I wanted to keep this because the colour palette's perfect. So that one is for Vicky. I hope you like that, Vicky. Um, we will move straight on to now. To Julie's now Julie wanted a autumn inspired journal now I've ran out of all the front covers of the magazine so now I'm using the back covers but I've chosen images to put on the front that I thought was perfect for the color palette and I've just added some um, vintage fabric some lace and mu dyed muslin and some uh, velvet ribbon and I just thought I just love the way that this is um, turned out 
Um, we have an autumn looking tag inside with some vintage buttons, vintage wallpaper that I created. Um, the beautiful image of a tablescape. I just love how it's got all the autumn uh, dried, um, I don't know, it could be hocks hanging from there, but just beautiful. Um, here I've just tucked in a little piece of, um, you know, like a, I guess like a project card um, that I printed off. Um, of fabric. I've just popped it in there because I just thought the blue it brought out the blue more in this kitchen and of course again with that uh, dyed linen we have some designer paper with a tab and a gorgeous image um, of a bathroom and some vintage fabric and I've popped a little bit of washi down here because I kind of tore the page a little, but I just I think it works well with it. We have the typewriter um, manual page, and here we have a tag that I um, designed. Designed, I love, and I dyed the the linen this color, and of course the lace as well. I just love how this whole scheme turned out on this, you know, with this beautiful pop of color. It's just stunning. I love it. And we have another postcard where I've just stitched around the edges. I've added some ephemera in here, little French um, tags slightly on the, the, the burnt orange side. Um, and I've, I've popped this in um, of turkey plates. I just thought they were beautiful. Um... Julie can cut them out if she likes. I thought that was perfect fitting for, you know, um, Thanksgiving. Um, isn't that in the fall for you guys? Anywho, uh, we have some gathering of lace here. And I just love these sentiments. And, of course, with that little touch of turquoise that she wanted in here. Some images of some pumpkin. Uh, vintage music paper autumn trees some more pumpkins and another tablescape here and of course the color palette um, that we were create creating by um, the porter paint paint swatches um, Julie wanted a touch of uh, teal to the um, to the color palette so the full color palette so I thought that was beautiful now this I'm absolutely loving look at this I couldn't put this in half and cut straight in the book I had to do it this way so it's just a gorgeous image the, per the perfect colors for this um, particular journal um, we've just added some mushrooms again we've got some uh, autumn uh, vintage garden book page center of the page half pocket with some images inside that she can use and stick wherever she likes and a little pumpkin seed packet um, print off here we've got some ephemera another image and that's the other side of that chair that you looked at um, this is some ledger paper another beautiful image Love this image of um, the metal heart. I thought that was stunning. Um, the other, we've got some more more mushrooms here. The other side of that pocket, some gathering some butterflies, ephemera in here. The flip out, and I made a little a little um, tab here. Use and I cut off the one of the flowers of the Hyder Ranger bunch um, velvet bunch from Miss Rose Sister Violet They're, they've got some stunning little flowers so I've used it for that again we've got the tea bag tab another little flip in um, with the autumn colors some layering of lace and I th uh, this one's coffee dyed paper got some ephemera the rusty clip another little tuck here of another beautiful image and then there's the other side of that image. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely stunning. And I've just done another little tip in here. Some layering of some lace. A tag. And of course my logo. 
And so that concludes all of the three custom journals. I really hope that uh, Liz, Vicky and Julie enjoy their journals and they'll be coming your way very, very soon. So as I mentioned, if you are interested in um, seeing a room tour of my studio now that it's finished, um, leave a comment down below and also if you wanted to see my collection of vintage birthday cards, um, postcards as well as my music books, um, you know, leave the comment down below as well. I'm, I'm more than happy to show you those and if you are interested in what, um, in having those made into a digi kit, I'm more than happy to make those into a digi kit as well. So, with that, that being said, um, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you're all having a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now. Toodles.